Woolly and we Woolly. They are Woodrow Wilson sheep. Woolly and we Woolly. They are the White House sheep. Wait a minute, you said we could see where they used to cook, but you brought us into the basement. We are going to see what they ate and how they cooked. Back in 1856, this was the kitchen. The kitchen was in the lower level since people worried about fire. At least here at the manse, the kitchen was inside the house. Before this, kitchens were a separate building away from the house. So we Willie and friends, what do you see first in the kitchen? The stove, it's so big. That's called the star. To light it up, you could use wood or coal. As you can see, it has four burners. The back burners were not so hot, so that's why sometimes when you or your friends want to go for ice cream but it's too close to dinner, your parents might say, let's put that on the back burner for now, meaning not right now. So what's that on top of the star? That's the oven. This sure does not look like an oven at home, does it, friends? Let's peek inside. I do not see any knobs or numbers like the ones at the White House. How do they know the temperature? I don't want to burn any cookies. The cook would take her elbow and place it near the opening of the oven. She would then count slowly to ten. If she could make it all the way up to ten, it was about 350 degrees. Man, you're making us all hungry. What food did Woodrow Wilson's family eat? Friends, think about your favorite foods. I bet you like pizza, chicken nuggets, cheeseburgers, and french fries, am I right? Well, the choices back in 1856 were a bit different. Remember, the Wilsons had chickens and pigs, so they had eggs, chicken, and ham. They had a vegetable garden, so they had all their favorites. The Wilsons could go to the general store in Stanton and buy fruits, cheese, candy, and even macaroni. What are those on the plate? Those are oysters. Since the train came to Stanton, people could buy oysters harvested from the Chesapeake Bay and fry, steam, or even eat raw. Friends, have you ever had an oyster? Hey, can we play a game? Our friends will play too. How about if we play What Is It? Let's start with an easy one. What is this? Oh, we all know that one. It's a cookie cutter. That's right. The cook would roll out the cookie dough with the rolling pin and make their cookies. Can we make some now? Let's put that on the back burner for now. Instead, what is this? Hey, do you use it to smush butter? No. Friends, do you have a guess? I'll give you a hint. Some people make a cool beverage from these, and they are yellow. Hmm. Lemons! You use it to squeeze lemons. Are we correct? Yes, great job, all of you. One more. What do you think was kept in here? Was it a hat? No, try again. Leftovers. No, let me give you a clue. It goes on a hamburger and also with macaroni. Ooh, cheese. Correct. The cheese could be bought at the general store. It was then covered in wax and placed in the box to store. Let me show you one more item. What is this? I know that. It is a washtub. I bet your bathtub at home is bigger, friends. Back in 1856, you would heat the water and put in only two and a half inches. The children took turns starting with the oldest child to the youngest, all using the same water. Wow, I feel sorry for the youngest child. The water would be cold and not so clean. What day do you think the children took their bath for the week? Sunday, to start the week. No, but you're very close. Oh, Saturday, to be ready for church. Yes! We know what the Wilsons ate, but where did baby Woodrow sleep? What a great question. Follow me and we can uncover some more fun facts. Ready, set, go!